blood rage as Terry kills someone and blames it on Todd. But, but ten years later, Todd escapes the institution and returns home on Thanksgiving night. So this review is for last week, so, uh, because I didn't have time to do it, so this is for last week, for Saturday, and then I will do, uh, another movie also today, uh, uh, for Black Friday, uh, before I go on Thanksgiving break. So, without further ado, the positives on this film are, uh, I kind of like the score. It's very 80s, uh, but it's really cool and thrilling. So, I actually really kind of liked it. The intro to the movie was pretty good. Uh, Terry kills someone and blames it on Todd. It, it was a pretty good intro. It kept me engaged. Uh, I really liked it to, to the movie. Uh, Mark Sopper? Or Soper? I'm, I'm not sure. The... The guy who plays both Terry and Todd, uh, he does a really good job making Todd and Terry feel like different characters. Todd is messy and unclean, and Terry is nice-looking but evil. Um, uh, I believe that he was two different characters, so I actually really liked that. Uh, and the last positive is I like the kills in it. The first, the first kill getting... Hacked to death, the kill that starts off the movie uh, has uh, one guy getting hacked to death that uh, sends uh, Todd to the Institute. That was pretty good. Um, Bill getting decapitated was good. Uh, Brad's hand getting cut off uh, was really good. So I, li I liked it. I liked the gore. I liked the kills in the movie. Uh, that was the best thing in the movie. Now, on to the negatives. Um, uh, one thing that was just kind of weird for me was that when uh, Brad was about to get killed, uh, uh, Terry was coming in and, like, he had a machete. And for what... He has a machete, and for whatever reason, uh, Brad is like, look what the cat dragged in. Uh, like, not even phased by seeing a machete. And then, and then Terry cuts his hand off. Um, so that was just weird. That was, I know this is supposed to be a campy movie, but I mean, like, that was just the wrong reaction when someone has a machete. Like, that was just weird. Uh, another negative is, uh, it's honestly not clear why... Terry is killing everyone. It makes sense that he kills Brad because Terry wants to be... Uh, Terry wants his mom all to himself. But I don't get why he kills anyone else. I get why he would maybe want to try and kill his brother. That makes sense. But, like, killing his friends that, and uh, trying to kill that one girl, I don't get that. That, that didn't make sense. He didn't really have a strong motive to, he didn't have a strong motive to killing everyone. Um, and the last negative was, uh, it's honestly really boring and slow in some parts, which is weird because it's only an hour and 22 minutes. You put in the credits, it's probably an hour and 15 minutes. So, so I don't know. It was like, it seemed like there was too much too much downtime in this already short movie. And, I mean, I hate to say it, but I think they could have, should have, cut out, like, five minutes of film and and make it even shorter so that uh, most of the movie is just killing and, uh, and, uh, uh, Terry just going crazy on everyone. Uh, I think it would have made the movie uh, way more entertaining. But in the end, uh, Blood Rage is entertaining for a slasher. It's kind of fun. Um, every once in a while, I can watch it. Uh, it's not one of my favorite horror movies of all time, but uh, it it's a decent slasher. It's entertaining enough. Thanks for watching.